What's going on, everyone? So I wanted to uh, recap some of the trading stuff I did today on the ES and talk about why it's so important to wait for levels and be patient after the market opens to avoid you know, taking any drawdowns, which I experienced today. And I'm gonna go through some of the trades I took. So I have Thinkorswim usually up. I got two monitors, the right side, looks at you know the overall market you get the es the nq the rty the ym and i have the tick like the new york stock exchange tick so i can see which way we're trending and the trend for the s p and then whatever instrument i'm trading i have on the other monitor for like the 15 minute the hourly and the daily and been trading es uh, since i started this hundred fifty thousand dollar combine so i'm up I'm not going to trade anymore today, but I'm up $565.40. And it was not an easy day to trade today. And I realized I didn't record some of the stuff that I was trading. So I just want to do a recap. So this is the market open here, this big red candle. And if you zoom out, you can see that we're in a, like a wedge and we're near the top of it. So knowing that I tried to actually take a trade around this previous resistance, this support here off the EMAs, and it just did not hold. And I got flushed out for a loss. And I think I tried to do a long again here at this level, like the 89, ended up getting stopped out, but I ended up entering back in again. You can kind of see all the trades I took here, took some off again, wasn't gonna hold for a breakout. And I realized we we're on an inside day still so there's a lot of range bound action there's no real follow through to the downside we'd never broke the overnight low which is why i was going long down here i did go in a little too heavy you can see in this area so if you follow my little spotlight thing here Originally, I was looking to go long off this trend line. I did get in a little bit here, then I scratched it thinking that we were gonna break, but then this huge candle came in. And yeah, I chased it a little bit, but then I took a very small profit in this area once I realized like that is too much risk. You can see how big these wicks are. This candle is massive. This candle is massive. Right off that trend line, you had to buy the trend line without knowing there's a reversal. The risk was really buy this trend line and keep a tight stop, maybe below 72. And I ended up taking it here, scratched it, didn't like it. And then I chased it up here, got a little emotional, ended up exiting. And then I started trading this area down here where the 73 was. My plan was to buy the lows down here, like 73-ish, 74. I think that's around what I bought it for. And I was gonna add in this area, these two lines here, the 67 and 66 quarter, that was the overnight low and it was a big level about one third back too on the measured move I have on the hourly chart. And I was looking to get in here, probably risk, um, probably half my risk for the day around 1500 on it. I, was, I think I was gonna have around four contracts on this guy. So I never had to add these to two other ones. I was gonna add in this area. So I ended up bouncing here took some profit off and I added way too many in here. I don't know what came over me, but I bought seven contracts here. My stop was below the low of this candle, which was a 74 half. Ended up trimming a bunch of them for a couple ticks because that was way too much risk. And I wasn't about to risk half my daily loss limit on one trade. So thankfully the market came back and took me out. And then once I was back to one contract, I could start thinking rationally again. And I realized we started breaking above the EMAs. We started pushing up on good volume. This was a really good candle. This was the pivot, like below 74.50. You're going to be wrong. And then nice couple of dojis here. And we're holding, closing above the EMA. So this is when I started going along a little bit more. And I pretty much went long. Uh, I actually went to the beach, unfortunately. But I went long again once I saw the trend was holding. I went long off this level here. And this is actually the best trade I took today in this area got long here with about three contracts i think around 90 88 and 87 is where i bought them and you can see i took profit 
um, towards the top of that flag just to lock in some gains. Uh, there could be another move higher, but this was, I really wanted to buy, unfortunately I was walking my dog, I wanted to buy in like right here on that retest, but I wasn't able to because I was out at the beach walking my dog. But once I came back, I didn't even think twice because we broke this downtrend and then we were still above the EMAs and we were making like these push-ups, retest, hold, push-up, retest, hold, push-up. This one shot a little bit lower, which is, but we were still above the EMAs and above the previous resistance, which we we're just retesting. Uh, I actually wanted to take out profit around this 97. Looks like the market's heading there now. But uh, back from, I mean, the drawdown I had today was just unacceptable and really shitty. My win rate was okay. 66%, more or less. You could see the drawdowns I had at the, the first 30 minutes. And I was down at like $900 at one point and fought back uh, to become positive for the day. You can see market opens. I should probably listen to these statistics because market opens are usually the worst for me. Around seven o'clock is a good time to see which way the trend is going to go. Are we going to continue or are we going to push down this time? We push down. And then the reversal kind of happened around 730 off a trend line. But the bigger reversal happened just after the European close, European market close around 830. And that's when we started pushing up again. So the next time frame I'm going to be watching, I'm not going to take any more trades, but it would be this 10, 10.30 time to see if we continue here. We might break out higher here. Uh, depends if we clear, you know, the 0650 and then push above yesterday's high, but we're in a tight, tight channel on the daily. We had a big move yesterday. So we could just consolidate here. So we'll see what happens. But I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of the trades I took. Best one was definitely after we, after we held this support, European market closed, and we started pushing up here and holding the EMAs and started trending up. And that's primarily because I'm a long trader, so I take the long trades. And yeah, I hope you guys caught that one and have a wonderful day. I'm going to hopefully remember to record my trades before as they're happening, but that's kind of my thought process and how why I took the trades today. And hopefully that was helpful for you guys. So have a good one. See you guys later. Bye.